Welcome back to the channel everybody. This is not a review. This is my deck collection. Enjoy. What's up everybody welcome back to the channel just wanted to give you a video on my collection of cards mainly and a couple of other things so I hope you enjoy I really do so this is not going to be no intricate type video I'm just going to go through my decks as quick as possible and yeah we'll go from there so we'll start with a couple things um, the wife actually just got me this for Christmas. Thank you, my love. Um, great book. Haven't had a chance to really delve into it yet, but I definitely suggest you guys pick it up. I believe she got this off of Amazon for like 15 bucks or something. But this is a definite, definite must-have if you're a magician or any kind of card handler. Okay, so go check that out next are these okay these here my father gave me these for Christmas they were my grandfather's um, these are actually from 1935 okay these are chem plastic playing cards now I know a lot of you are probably like oh I've seen those I've seen those listen I thought the same thing I tried looking them up I see the ones on there with this, but not this. I can't find any with this. This box. This box. Okay? I cannot find it. They're nothing spectacular. I will be doing a review on them. They're both sealed decks. Um, but, yeah. If you know anything about this case of cards, let me know in the comments below. Okay? So I got these two decks. And I'm going to start with my sealed new decks first okay so right off the bat gotta have my two rider back Richard Turner gold standard decks okay gotta have those and then of course I have two unopened elite edition cards from penguin magic as well okay these are a must just did a review on these go check the video out and then i have the unopened deck of the world poker tour bicycle deck okay i have a red deck in here that's open as well but these are my sealed ones and black okay and just to breeze through this a little quicker I have my unopened decks of just your regular standard bikes, okay, nothing crazy, blue and red, alright. And then, you gotta have the, oh, if I can get them out the box, lord, the old school throwback, 1885. Russell and Morgan Company bicycle playing cards. Okay. Two. These are two of my favorite decks here. Good cards. Okay. Good job, bicycle. Good job. And then I also have the cyclist deck in blue. These are unopened. I have a opened blue and an open red, which I'll get to shortly. These are another good good clean deck here okay these handle very well review coming soon okay gotta have these especially if you're a fan of bicycle car or b cards i mean because they're borderless okay pretty much great cards another one coming soon and then i got the blue dragons these are unopened as well i have a blue and a red opened coming up here in a couple minutes. All right. Second deck I ever owned are these here, the Archangels by Tom Lane and Bicycle. 
another amazing deck of cards super thin stock good deck okay i got like three of these i think i believe two or three and then knock out a big old notch here you gotta have your b cards all right you got the red b's here and then your blues Okay, nothing special, just blue and red bees. Alright. Ah, sorry about that. And then of course, just did a review on these, the Tragic Royalty deck. This is an unopened one. I have an open one as well. And come on. gotta have these these are amazing okay i have an open one of these i got these from illusionist.com link will be down below these are probably the most cleanest feeling cards as far as like doing fans and other kind of flourishes these are the ones okay these are the ones must have and then i got the steampunk Okay, these are unopened. Another good deck of cards from Theory 11. These here are the emotions as I just did a review on from collectibleplayingcards.com. And then, come on. And all of my Black Tigers unopened. I got like only about a half a brick of these left right now. Great cards. Illusionist.com as well. Or you can actually get these from like a Walgreens or whatever. Okay. And then the last two unopened decks I have are of course the Black Madison Rounders review coming on these soon and the Black Knockout deck by Alex Pandrea in the House of Playing Cards okay another good deck so starting with my opened decks the wife just got me these for Christmas as well. Black Ghosts version 2. Okay. Awesome cards. And. Oh. Already did the review on these. The blue and red keepers. Okay. Another amazing decks from Illusionist. And then. the open deck of Madison Rounders okay the open deck of Tally Hose I just showed you the absinthe deck another amazing deck from illusionist can't go wrong review coming soon then of course the regalias from Shen Lim my first video go check that out if you haven't seen it yet My open decks of the Richard Turner Gold Standards and the Elite Penguin cards there. Another favorite here is the Crimson Playing Cards from Theory 11. These are amazing. Review on these coming soon. It's all embossed. Beautiful deck of cards here. And then the open deck of the Blue and Red Dragons. Okay. And then regular open deck of blue bicycles. Two open decks of black tigers. Come on. Uh, two regular red. 
side bike decks than the first deck of cards I ever owned right here a real deck of rider backs first deck I ever owned right here still got it and I always will and then oh, come on open the deck of tragic royalties ones I did the review on as like I said oh sorry then I got different rider backs of course your pink breast cancers um, deck of blues right there another deck of blues teal rider back then gold rider back okay I also have a black deck of rider backs just like these but they're black I don't know where they are they're not in here I just noticed it but you can assume what they look like okay so two more of my favorites are right here these are probably one of the most slept on decks that I can think of the aviators review coming soon another set of amazing regular retail decks right here okay so go get these of course three decks of open bees right here my everyday practice cards I guess you can say and then I got the American flags and the US president's decks opened as well nice cards they handle very nicely okay then the as I said the blue and red cyclists got those and then the blue and red open decks of the throwback retro cards there from bicycle and then do 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 sorry this is taking so long I'm like trying to get them out the box but anyway uh, the hemp deck from bicycle picked this up from Amazon for like four bucks review coming soon then an open deck of the black knockouts as well okay and let's see open deck of emotions two more plain red decks of bicycle decks yeah. then I have the just a regular deck. Here's a little thing. I know you're saying pinochle. Why? Pinochle decks come with four of every card. From I think nine to ace. I believe it is. Um, these are good for when you're you need extra cards to do certain tricks. And it comes on your standard rider back card. So if you're looking for a cheap deck with duplicates, go get these. Okay. Especially if you're doing like signed, signed card tricks and stuff like that. You need extra duplicate cards. Go get these. Okay. Um, then I also have the red World Poker Tour cards. Just like the black ones I had that were sealed up. And then. Gotta have your Hoyle cards. Okay. These are pretty good. I got these for, from somebody. A friend of mine gave me these I believe. Um, these are pretty good cards, not bad. They're large, jumbo-faced, but whatever. Ugh. Then he got the pandas from Bicycle. Okay. The emojis from Bicycle as well. One-way, one-sided deck. I don't really like one-sided decks, but what can you do? Then you got the Aurora's beautiful looking deck. Not really a favorite of mine, but what can you do? And then this one here, if you're a, a magician that does, you know, uh, tricks for like, you do like kid shows, get these. My kids love these, man. I'll do a review on these very soon, but every card has like a throwback poster of a Disney movie. And it's another one-way deck, but 
they handle very, very nice, I tell you. These handle like a top-notch deck. But, once again, not a favorite, but I do collect decks, so, had to get them. Then, this was the second deck I owned, the Tom Lanes I was talking about, the Archangels. This is the actual deck here I had. Then, here's another one of my favorites, the studs. I got a jumbo face in blue, a regular in blue, and a red. I just picked these up. These are actually new, but I didn't, I've already used them. But they actually don't come with a cellophane on them or a tuck seal, which is kind of weird. But you can get these at Walgreens. They're actually made by Walgreens Company, as you see. All right. But these are amazing cards. They remind me just like the old school studs, okay? So, go get them. Then, let's see. Now we're getting down to the nitty gritty. Got the uh, deck of aristocrats right here. These are actual casino cards. I mean, I paid what, two for 99 cents, so 50 cents for this deck. But they're good for practice, and they handle great because they're aristocrats so I actually want to get a real deck of aristocrats or a couple so if anybody out there has any extras they want to send my way hey <laughs> I'll take them guys appreciate it and let's see the next couple decks are just terrible decks that I just got somehow got these I'm sure you guys have seen these. Not great cards at all. Okay. So, very, very terrible deck. Same with these. And it's crazy with these Aces cards. These are actually put out by Cardamundi. The same people that put out the Shin Lim deck and the Butterflies deck by Andre Seneca. These are terrible. I don't know what they did with these or whatever. But these are terrible. They look like bri bellies almost, but they're not. So it's kind of, they sound good, but legit. I mean, I mean, look at this. Look, I can't even fan them. Look at that. Ugh, I can't. I can't. And it's crazy because they're not bad looking cards, but they're just, I don't know. They're terrible. So, don't get these, okay? Whatever you do, don't get them. Anyway, moving on. Another one that's pretty terrible. I'm sure you guys have seen these. I love the design, but the cards handle like complete, utter trash, okay? And then, another collector one, American Flags by United States Playing Card Company. Like I said, I don't use it. I just collect it. So, then, another trash deck is the Bicycle Prestiges. Do not buy these cards, okay? Do not. They are complete trash. I can't even show you them right now. I'm going to show you why they're so trash that I turned them into a cardistry practice deck. Okay? And I don't even know cardistry, but I made it into four packets to try to practice cardistry when I do get time. Okay? That's how trash these cards are. So don't get those. Worst deck of cards by far are the Monte Carlos. I actually got these from like five below, I believe. The design is nice, but look at this. I mean, the, the deck is like, look at this. It's actually falling apart. Well, oh, it was. I don't know what happened. Oh yeah, here it is. Yeah, look at this. The side of it, the glue, is actually coming off. Like, look at that. That's terrible. Like, decks of, look at that. decks of cards should not do that. And I haven't even used them but one time when I bought them. So, trash. Moving on. The see-through Hoyle cards. I believe these were Hoyles. They're cool, 
but they're trash. Okay, they're cool for like pool parties or something, but who's gonna play cards in a pool? Nobody. So no. So yeah, getting close to the end, my friends. But a couple more. Got two open decks of the fires. Like I said, great cards. Had to have them. Um, got these. Paramount made in Ohio. Because that's where I'm from. That's where I live. Is in Cleveland. So go Cavs. And those are bridge cards by the way. And then. Another deck of bridge cards. Okay. Another collector type deck is a Scooby Doo playing cards by United States Playing Card Company. Oops. Okay. Uh, another bad, ugly deck is these. Paid a dollar for these. These are Phoenix. Just to show you, because I know a lot of people, well, not a lot, but some people brag on how, and it could have changed. The new Phoenix cards could be a whole another ball game. But look, these cards do not fan great either. Love the design. Great design. They're very, I mean, listen. Very thin stock. But they just, no. It's not not the business at all I mean I can't even pressure Phantom even or nothing so trash moving on get in there look they don't even have a thing where the tuck seal goes I mean look it's like the same on both sides whatever get out of here here's the one good deck though I don't know how this didn't get in the video earlier flying machines Another good deck review coming soon. They have these in two different colors. And yeah, I'm pretty sure that is about it. Um, I do have my magic wallet. I take this with me everywhere. It's not an actual magic wallet. I hold the deck of cards. I got my other stuff here, my magic thread, coins, three card money, a couple um papers with like reveals on it and stuff i got a trick where i already have their card written down i light it on fire it shows their card blah blah whatever maybe i'll show you guys in a later video but like i said take the cards deck of cards it goes in there okay. and you take it with you and they can't get messed up so all right um my markers, gold, silver, black, gotta have sharpies, and yeah, that's it, rubber bands, coins, um, that's my little collection here, as you see, got quarters, dollars, half dollars, you know, little light for when I do, uh, the laser deal you know different things like that so hope you guys enjoyed this video hopefully you did leave a like I appreciate it and yeah I will see you guys here soon and yeah if there is any video or uh, any decks of cards that I did show you in this video that you would like to see more than any one of them please leave a comment below I will make sure I do that and yeah Otherwise, enjoy. Bring in the new year. Uh, la la, came and talk. Bring in the new year on a good note, and I'll see you guys later. Thank you very much, guys. Peace.